is to explain our swing training system that I developed about 16, 17 years ago. Uh, I know a friend, he, used, he went to Oxford University, his name is Roger Brooks, keen golfer, and he came out with this uh, putting training aid, and basically it's a baby explainer. You can put this in your suitcase or your briefcase. This is a small training aid, but it's for putting. And you can see that it's a wall with a red line that represents the, the arc of the club. And if I show you this way, you can see that the face is inclined. Now, if putters were made vertically, but they're not allowed to be, then you could have a putting stroke that went straight back and straight through. So the fact that the plane of the stroke is inclined means that the putter head quite naturally tracks a little bit from inside to square its strike to inside on the way through. If I show you the back of the, the training aid that support the face, you might think that these black lines are parallel, but they actually fan very, very subtly. So what it's showing with these black lines, visually as I look down on the training aid, as you look down, your eye can see if the face is opening and closing with the path. Now, what the pet head is not doing is rolling of itself. That's not what's happening. What's happening is there's a natural arc back and through. And Roger's true plane putting aid, as I say, it's like a, an explainer for putting. So I lay it down and I can rest the heel of my putter against the wall of the true plane. So, all of the putter head is going to travel back. As it does so, it goes ever so slightly to the inside. It would be wrong for the face to stay square. It would be unnatural. Okay? Now, as I draw the putter head back, primarily for me through my hands, my shoulders are sympathetic. If my shoulders and hands are too far away, I don't want to come inside the wall. If I was too close to the true plane, I'd be going outside the wall. So it's important that you set the, the true plane up and now you can practice the mechanics of your putting stroke. Very simple mechanism and again it's visual and it's feel. And I think you can see that my posture and my shoulder line are permitting and facilitating the stroke. For me, I feel my hands working as one and they draw the butt head back and through. However, my shoulders are working on a plane that gives me a slightly square to in to square to in path. So the funny thing is the bottom of the true plane is actually parallel straight back and straight through, but the inclined wall of the true plane gives you a stroke that tracks a bit to the inside going back. So I just take uh, the true plane out of the picture. And like explainer, you use the true plane, but you don't think about the true plane when you're hitting the putt. You let your muscles remember what it felt like. Okay, so I step in, I aim the club face, tip from the hip. The club face is between my feet. Now, there's a white line to the target, but my putter, strap, my putter tracks slightly in to square. Now that's probably the worst putt I've hit for you, and it was classic because I was thinking about the stroke. I was talking to you about the mechanics, and I made a mechanical movement, and guess what? The moment you think about mechanics, chances are you're going to mess up your feel. So let's regroup, learn from your mistake, and get back to basics, rolling the ball down the white line. That's better. So there's a classic case. Two shots ago, I was talking to you about the technique and I made a hash of the shot. I then forgot the technique and thought about the task and I recovered and hold a putt.